Okay? So it is there. Second, you take the one that you made it half. Where is the second with the half? Okay, so this is the second, the one we cut it. So place that upper part on the nasal bridge. Keep it on the middle. And these two, you have to wrap it with the tube or to the tube. Wrap. So the other one, so you have to crisscross. Make it cross. Okay? Assuming this one is in, huh? Okay. Now, the third plaster, cover on top of it. Okay? Now, let's do the three test. We will get our... What is this? Aseptoserin. So you have to aspirate 20 of air. Okay? Open or pinch whenever you open and close. Pinch. Like this. Pinch. Okay? Open. There is a cover here, as I told you. So pinch, open, and connect. Leave it for a while, set aside. Get your stethoscope. First test. Put the diaphragm. This is the navel. Okay? Yung puso. Above or below the navel. So we will put above the navel. And push hard. Push the air harder. Okay, now set aside, take this out, put it back, what you will hear when I push the air. There must be a bubbling sound, okay, like you are hungry, <laughs> something, okay, so you heard that means to say your tube is in, okay, so with, if not, Take it out, red do. Do the same. Go back to number one. Okay, second test. Aspirate 10 ml. You have to aspirate either whitish or yellowish gastric fluid. Once you see a gastric fluid of whitish and yellowish, means you are in. In the stomach, what I'm saying, the stomach. Okay? So, test two. So, pinch close. Close it. And your 10 ml, dispose it to the receptacle. Remove it. Set aside. Now, because we finished putting the plaster, you can go on with the gloves. Okay? So, assuming we need a glove. You do not shake like this, huh? Just pop out. Okay? And put in your gloves. Take the other one. Okay, so we're now here. Third test. Get your water with a glass of water. Soak this. Open and pinch and open. Soak. So you will find bubbles. Once you find bubbles, means to say, out. It is not inside of the tummy. It's not inside of the stomach. So, where is it coming from? The where lungs. the bubbles come from? In the lungs. In the lungs, okay? Because there is air. So, it is not in. Redo. Go back to one. 
Okay? So, if it is, if there is no bubbles, proceed. Pinch, close. So, we will proceed now. We will start feeding. Before and after starting the feeding, we will flush with water. So, connect. Get your water. We already have that already, right? Okay. So, we will put 30 ml. 30 only. 30 to 50 of water. To flush means to say, we will check whether it is going in. There is no blockage. If there is any blockage, you did like this and it doesn't go with the gravity, use the plunger, just put, push gently. Okay? Not too much. Gently only so that it will go. So if doesn't want to go, you have to push it harder. But if not, just a touch, a gentle touch. Okay? So now 30 ml is running. Check not to empty this. So keep it at least there is something here. So once you see this, doctor now orders at least 300 ml of feeding. So we have only 50 ml here. So if it is 300, what we should do? 50, 50, 50. So 50, 50, 50. So let's give 50, finish, 50, 50, 50. Done. 300 according to the doctor. Now, once it is done, flush with water. Another water, how much? 30. 30 to 50, but we are giving only 30. Okay? So done. Water is done. Keep it higher like that so it will flow with the gravity. Pinch. Close. Disconnect. Close. Okay? Disconnect. Keep it aside. Now, get the last plaster. And make a butterfly here. Butterfly means, you see how difficult it is with the gloves. I will remove my gloves first, okay? In removing your gloves, Hold in the middle. Clasp it from under, out, the whole thing. I don't want something to just hang and hang. Put it in the receptacle anytime before and after hand hygiene. So now I will put this one butterfly. Means to say you have to Keep it together like this. Okay? And put it down to the cheek of the patient. Not on the eye. So put it down a little bit here. Okay? So we're done. Last document. document. Everything. Date, the time what you did, how much you give the feeding, what you have, uh, what uh, water, how much water you give, and if the patient tolerated, vomited, all of those. Okay? Now, done. Next feeding, we will give by the tube. This one is the tube where we put our feeding. So this will be around 1 liter, 1,000. Okay? So if you will see like this, if you will find like this, if it is 1,000, you have to check the name of the patient. You have to check whether it expired. And this, you will get it from your refrigerator. Okay? Before the feeding, before the feeding, at least 10 minutes, keep it out. Get a towel, 
and just keep it on the bedside before you feed it. So hook it. Either you will put it, attach it in the uh, machine. There is a machine for feeding. So what you can do is attach this and set it. If it is one liter, one thousand, you have to write there one thousand. And how much per hour? Like 200 per hour. Or 200 per something, depending on the doctor. So, you get the end of this. If not with the machine, you can go directly with this. Can you just uh, put this one here? Okay. okay. So, again, Get a gauze, opening of any sterile, you should open from the middle. Get a piece of gauze, take it off from the cheek, cheek. put the gauze under, pinch open under to support, not to leak and insert let's say it's inserted okay put it on so just to assume this is the one okay so you can put Put it on here, keep it high. Okay, so once it is attached, put it on and then wait until it is almost done. So once it is done, close this. Okay, and you have to pinch open, close, and the same way. You have to put the butterfly on the cheek. Now what we will do with this, either once it is done, we will throw it into where? Anything that has contact with the patient, where are you throwing? Medical waste. Medical waste. Okay, so if the doctor orders only 500, so you have remaining 500, right? Mm -hmm. So keep it all in a triangle, close this in a triangle, wrap it and put the plaster. So take this all inside of the rep. Take it back to the rep. Okay. So now again, if we have our uh, gloves, hand hygiene. And go back to the patient, keep the patient comfortable, and document. Okay? So that's all for our NGT feeding.